Hey folks, Brian here. Today I want to show you how to run other programs from your own Go program. If you like this and want to support the channel, um, check out the description below. So the main package you want to use is the OS slash exec package. The exec package has a function called command where you give it the program name followed by zero or more arguments and you get back a command. Now with this command you then have to call combined output on it. This is a helper function that takes both the standard output and the standard error, combines them together and allows you to print it out. It returns bytes and an error. And so this combined output it'll wait till the program completes. So if you have a very long running program you won't get any feedback. It'll take about 30 minutes before it returns the bytes and the error. Now if the error is not nil, meaning the program um, returned a non-zero status, here I decided to print out the error, but I don't quit because the program still might output something like a help message or debugging info. And so I continue on and I take the bytes and I use format.printf with a string format specifier to print the bytes as a string rather than a raw string of numbers. And really that's about it. Um, for here up top I found it more convenient to just put the whole command as a string rather than cutting this up manually by the spaces and supplying them into command. I took the string command and I used the strings package, the split method, to break it up. And then here I used args zero to get the program name, the zeroth element. And then I used some of the Go's cool slice notation to start at one and without a higher bound, take the rest. And that grabs all the rest of the tokens. Whoa. So uh, let's run it and see how it does. I've already installed it in another window. But here you can see there was no output um, for a while. And that was because we called combined output, which waits. Um, next time we can change that to return uh, standard output and error as it comes in. And so this command, uh, it's part of my new suite of content creator tools called FU for FFmpeg utility. And this is creating a short 30 second clip of a video. And Instagram requires only 30 seconds maximum. So any video that I create, I can run this tool and create a shorter clip of it. And for the FFmpeg junkies out there, um, this is the start position, the input file, T is for how many seconds, dash C colon V is what codec to use for the video, I said copy, and the codec for the audio is copy. So there's no change to the format of the file, um, the codex of the file. Just copy and use what's there to make it as fast as possible. And dash Y means overwrite if it already exists. So there you have it. Uh, that's how you uh, call commands from your own Go program. Uh, next up, we'll use flags to sort of allow certain parts of this to be configurable and uh, continue to expand this tool. So thank you and once again if you want to support the channel check out the description below. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.